Hey, this is Trish here for today's video, and I wanted to talk about something that I did recently, which was a test for iodine. Now, I did not go to the doctor because I don't have insurance. I can't afford health insurance because I'm self-employed, all that jazz. So, um, so I have to figure things out on my own, and sometimes that um, means using some pretty rudimentary uh, tests. And so that's what I have done with a skin patch test for iodine. Now, why is iodine imported? Why am I doing this? Well, it turns out that if you have a low thyroid, if you have a slow, low, underactive thyroid, uh, it's very possible that the reason, one of the reasons for that is because you're low in iodine. And in fact, iodine is the number one most efficient mineral for people, especially here in the United States. Number two is sulfur, and I think number three is magnesium, but iodine is number one. And so, um, so yeah, so I did this test, and it's really simple. I'm going to show you how you can do it. And uh, basically what it is, it's a skin patch test. You put the iodine on your skin, and you wait for it to fade away. The way it works is that if it is still there within 24 hours, so you, yeah, you have to wear it for a whole day, and if it's still there within 24 hours, then your iodine level should be okay. Um, however, if it fades away before that, if it fades away, especially within 12 hours, then you are deficient in iodine. If it's less than 12 hours, then you're really, really, really deficient in iodine. And as it turned out, mine was, mine was fading away at seven hours and by eight hours it was gone. So I am very deficient in iodine, which can help explain that uh, that's one of the reasons why I've had so much trouble with losing weight because uh, you, you can see I'm, I'm not a size two. Uh, of course, I never would be. If I were size two, I would be dead. But uh, so being healthy is my goal. Being a certain size is not my goal. But finding out these individual components that contribute to my overall health, that's what I'm trying to do. So here's what you need if you want to do an iodine skin test. If you have a slow thyroid, if you've had a really hard time trying to lose weight, like I have, um, because I didn't have trouble losing weight a few, even just a few years ago. A few years ago, I lost 95 pounds, and it was relatively easily. I was using a product. I, I'm going to get to this in a second. Um, I was using a product that helped with the thyroid, and losing weight was very easy. But I've since used that same product three different times and haven't lost any weight at all. So I knew that there was something else, that it wasn't just my thyroid that was being affected. And so that's why I turned to doing this iodine skin test. So what you're going to need is some basic, uh, inexpensive, I got this from Fred's because it's the local drugstore, it's Loveless Drugs. Um, it's a basic iodine solution, and yes, this is the same iodine solution that you put on. Uh, it's an antiseptic wash um, that you, this is what they, I don't know if they still use this in surgery, but you, you know, when I was little and I had to have surgery, I remember, you know, they had to swab me down with some iodine, beta iodine solution, that kind of thing. So this is 10% iodine. Now, when I went to get this, there was, um, on the shelf next to it, there was this little bitty bottle, like a, it had a little dropper, and that was 2% iodine in a 47% alcohol solution, and so I chose not to get that. I chose to get this, because this is the basic antiseptic um, iodine wash, and so this is what I got. And you'll also need a cotton ball. So, um, I, I mean, I guess you can use toilet paper or paper towel or whatever, but I have a cotton ball. So all you do, really simply, just put this on here, and this is why I'm in my bathroom, because if I make a mess, I don't want this all <laughs> over me and everywhere else, it'd be hard to clean up. Okay, see, I'm already dripping, I'm a mess. All right, so what you do is you take it, the cotton ball uh, of iodine, and you're just gonna do about a three by three inch square. You see that? That's, that's about right. A three by three inch square, and get it on there, see? See that? Get it on there. Might even do another coat. That's it for me. I did two coats of this and it still faded away. So yeah, I'm super, super deficient. So here we go. Um, I can see it dripping on my hands. It looks awful. But that's all you do. Just do a three. And because I'm holding this up to you, I'm not getting a very good square. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So yeah, so you just leave this to dry. And, and so this should still be evident within 24 hours. 24 hours after you do this, so make sure you time it, what time you started doing this, and it should still be there. Like, there should still be a, a, it won't be as dark as this. Your body will absorb some of this, 
But um, that's what it does is that if you're deficient in iodine, it absorbs all of the iodine. And that's what my body was doing. My body was like, ooh, iodine, yummy, fine, we, we need this. And so, and so that's what I did. That's all you do. So you want to mark what time you start this, and, um, and then that way you know within 24 hours if you're deficient. Again, I was timing mine within three hours. I noticed a difference. So here's a picture of me at the three-hour mark. And here's the picture from seven hours. Yeah, so it was already almost gone at seven hours. And so by eight hours, it was completely gone. So I am very deficient in iodine. So then what are you going to do? Well, I have sourced a really good quality um, source of iodine and I have not gotten that. I'm going to get it tomorrow. I will order it from Amazon and, and I'll post a link down below. But uh, just to start getting iodine. The thing is, is that I take, um, I just started taking my vitamins again. And uh, yes, yes, I wasn't taking my vitamins because they're expensive and frankly, I, I couldn't afford to get them. Um, and so uh, because they are all fruits and vegetable, organic vitamins and uh, and so, yeah, sorry, the lighting's are, lighting is changing in here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's really great quality vitamins. And so if you are taking a multivitamin and if you eat seafood, which is high in iodine, then maybe you're getting enough iodine and maybe you can make it, make it through the 24 hours. But I don't eat seafood. I don't eat table salt, which is iodized salt. I eat, I eat sea salt. So I'm really not getting enough iodine through my diet. And I knew that, I knew that intellectually, but just to see how over time not getting enough iodine, how it's affecting my thyroid. And the thyroid regulates all the hormone um, production and the metabolism of your body. So when your thyroid starts getting screwed up, then you know a lot of other things start to fall apart as well. And uh, I'm gonna be 43 this year, so I don't need anything else falling apart. <laughs> I need, I need to try and keep all this together. I want to still be a, a, a vibrant person 50 years from now, 60 years from now. And so my health is very, very important to me. And, uh, and so that is really all you need. You just need some iodine solution and some cotton balls and that will get you your iodine test. And uh, yeah, and it's really simple, 24 hours. So make sure you time it. And uh, I'll do another video once I actually have the iodine that I'm going to be getting. I'll do some tests with that and see how I feel and uh, see, uh, hopefully get my thyroid kicking in again so I can lose some of this extra weight that I've put on. Now, I will tell you, I have gained some weight from this food experiment that I've been doing. It wasn't just food. It was also a, a beverage experiment. And I'll talk more about that in another video. But for now, I definitely know I'm iodine deficient thanks to my little home test that I've done here. And, uh, and I'm gonna get the iodine and I'll do another video once that's in. And I've had some time to experiment with that. And uh, so, you know, there is a possibility that you have too much iodine. And so that's a whole other topic that I am not versed enough uh, in to talk about. But for this right here, simple home test, you can do it. This costs three seventy-five plus tax, and a bag of cotton balls was like a dollar. So, um, this is um, with, well within the reach of most people to be able to do this at home. And then, if it you are really uh, concerned about this, then maybe you can want to go to your doctor and get an actual blood test. But again, I can't afford that, so I'm doing the home test. So, all right, y'all have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.